Hey guys, it's Matt from 97 This is going to be an update video because our last one got deleted somehow. So this is going to be after the actual when I have all my stuff and Ryan doesn't have anything, like anything extra, but he'll show you everything that's grown and yeah, it's different. So um, if you didn't know, well probably you didn't know, but I got a new room and I permanently live with my mom now. I don't know if you knew before, but uh, I permanently live with my dad, or I lived with my dad before and he had all my reptiles. And now they're all at my mom's, and I have like a pretty big room. It's like 25 feet by some by like 15 or something. It's the camera look, makes it look pretty small, but it's pretty big. It can hold my drums, piano, guitar, bass, all that. So yeah, I'm gonna start the update video with. Uh, it's not. I don't know if it's mine yet, but it was our friend's. But he can't. He couldn't keep it, so it might end up being mine. I'm not sure, but for now, I'm keeping it. Um, this is Dewey the ball python. Um, I probably will hold him right now. He's a pretty nice snake. He is a normal and sort of the unfocused, but yeah, he's got some pretty good colors on him. I thought he was a spider, stupid enough, because yeah, look on the side, it kind of looks pretty wicked, but. Yeah, let's do it here and move on with my other ball python. Alright, this is going to be on my uh, female normal ball python, Peach. Deciding her Peach because it's a great name, obviously, and she looks like a peach. Um, she hasn't been eating since I got her from the expo, which I'm kind of worried about because I've never really had that problem with any snake. But, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to wait it out, you know. But So I tried feeding her, I think, two times. I, w I fed her, like, when I got her, when I first got her, because she hasn't eaten since February 22nd, which, if you know anything about snakes, it's kind of a long time, because previous dates that it states on that card, it's, like, every four days. So I'll, either he sold it to me with a feeding problem, or he just, you know, he just didn't want to feed it, I don't know. But... This is her. She's very nice, normal. She, she. Oh yeah, she's a normal, 100% for albino. Um, and I have, and that other normal over there. He is 100% for albino male. So obviously we're gonna breed these guys together and get albinos, probably, hopefully. So this is her. I'm not gonna show her that long because I don't want to stress her out any more than she's already is stressed out. So yeah. Alright, this is going to be my leopard geckos. They are currently breeding. Well, actually, they already breed bread. I didn't get it on film, though, unfortunately. But I saw it happen, and I didn't have my camera on me. It's pretty cool. This is the male uh, creamsicle Rudolph. Here, I'll get him out for you guys for a better look. I didn't have him before because of a lot of, like, um, confusion and stuff. I had him to a friend, but then I decided to take it back because he's a very nice... Yeah, cause he looks a lot different because he's been in the sun for a while. This is him. He's a nice bright orange after he sheds and he just like kind of gets a lot duller. I'm not going to bother him that much because he'll freak out. But I'll put him back there. And I'll get my Prego girl out for you guys. Actually, I probably won't even pick her up because that's just ignorant. But I'll just show her to you. You can see the lumps on her sides, kind of. It's can't really see them on the camera, but she's definitely pregnant. We saw, lifted her up the other day, and yeah. So that's her. She has a little a lot of cuts on her tails from breeding. Obviously, they get a little cut up. Uh, this this is a Layla. She's my maximum litter gecko. And this is my new square tail boa, Olimer. Side name Olimer because if you have heard of the game Pikmin for GameCube, it's the greatest game out there. It's my favorite game of all time, so obviously I had to do it in memory of Olimer from Pikmin. So this is him. I just fed him yesterday. I fed him a pinky, a, a, a rat pup actually, because I know it probably looks, pretty large, probably looks pretty big on this camera, but he's not that big enough to feed him anything bigger than a rat pup. So he has very nice colors. 
Very, like, really nice snake. Really happy I got him. Yeah, that's his enclosure. If you know anything about bows, they need, like, a decent amount of humidity. It gets kind of annoying after a while because if you have them in a tank, then it gets... And it's pretty hard with all the holes and stuff. So you gotta, you know, you gotta monitor it a lot. So, yeah, this is my boa, Olimar. Alright, uh, this is uh, Carlos, the corn snake. Um, my brother named it, but I had to take it because he's not the best at taking care of his animals. So obviously, I'm not gonna let it die or whatever. So I took it. Pretty good size. Kind of looks a lot bigger on the camera, but he's about the size of my hand but he does have a meal in him if you can see right there so you can see the scale separating um, I'm not gonna pick him up obviously but this is a pretty good look of him he's about a I don't know maybe like almost a year old but he has, he is not that big because my brother didn't feed him so yeah this is his enclosure it's I think it's 20 or 15 long I'm not sure but it's gonna be my female um, sudden glow corn snake Ella. I'm not gonna be able to pick her up because she's getting ready for breeding and I'm fattening her up. Um, she you can kind of see her without the reflection right there and the the red line right there. Um, not obviously not gonna disturb her, but she's doing a lot better. She weighs 300 and something grams, so she's basically ready for breeding. Just gonna wait a little bit. And yeah, sorry, I thought I saw a mite, but. Just poop. But anyway, this is her setup. It just hasn't changed. And yeah, 